Guess who's making a comeback? Say hello to Sierra Space's latest creation, the Dream Chaser. This cutting-edge spacecraft is set to revolutionize cargo transport to the International Space Station. And get this, it's coming back in style, landing right on the Kennedy Space Center's runway. But hold on tight, because we're diving deep into the details. How does this sleek new vehicle operate? How does it stack up against the legendary space shuttle? And could it be touching down on a runway near you soon? Let's find out in today's episode of SpaceX Flight. But before we get in, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss another awesome episode. And with that, let's dive right in. Dream Chaser is gearing up for its highly anticipated launch aboard ULA's Vulcan rocket later this year. But before we blast off, let's take a closer look at this remarkable spacecraft. Standing at an impressive 9 meters long, this space plane is a true powerhouse, capable of ferrying up to 5,500 kilograms of cargo to the International Space Station, ISS, all on its own. And that's not all. Thanks to its innovative cargo module, known as Shooting Star, Dream Chaser can nearly double its cargo capacity, reaching a staggering total of almost 10,000 kilograms. To put that into perspective, that's significantly more than SpaceX's Cargo Dragon V2, which maxes out at 6,000 kilograms. With 7 meters of external storage and wingspan, the Dream Chaser is a marvel of engineering. But here's the kicker. Those impressive wings need to fold up to fit snugly inside the 5-meter fairing. And when it's time to re-enter Earth's atmosphere, the wings play a crucial role. Unfolding to slow the vehicle down to ensure aerodynamic stability and a safe descent back home. Not only can it gracefully return and touch down on a runway like an aeroplane, but it also has the incredible ability to bring back over 1,500 kilograms of precious research and sensitive cargo with it. And when it comes to handling extreme temperatures, Dream Chaser's exterior tiles are second to none, shielding it from the blistering heat of temperatures exceeding 1,600 degrees Celsius. The 2,000 heat shield tiles, crafted from silica, the primary component found in ordinary sand, are intricately woven into special fibers designed to endure the intense temperatures of re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. Another capability of Dream Chaser is to keep G-forces bearable. This is important because for many reasons, not limited to preserving astronauts' vitality. While conventional space capsules like the Crew Dragon subject astronauts and cargo to up to three times the force of Earth's gravity during re-entry, Sierra Space promises a more leisurely experience with Dream Chaser capping acceleration at just one and a half Gs allowing more sensitive cargo to be brought down from the ISS. Plans for expansion and growth are already in motion, with Vandenberg on the west coast and international locals like Japan being considered as potential launch and landing sites. As the next generation takes shape, including the upcoming model Reverence, Dream Chaser is poised to join the commercial resupply missions alongside Cygnus and Cargo Dragon and with astronauts aboard the ISS already gearing up to handle loading and unloading operations. Dream Chaser has completed rigorous testing at NASA's colossal spacecraft shaker machine, replicating the intense vibrations of launch and re-entry. Next up, the spacecraft faces the challenge of NASA's mammoth indoor vacuum simulator, subjecting it to the extremes of space-like conditions from wide temperature swings to low pressures. Pending successful completion of these critical tests, Dream Chaser is primed for its official launch and entry into service, slated for the first half of 2024. Dream Chaser is set to revolutionize by becoming one of the only private companies carrying goods to the ISS and supersede all other space capsules thanks to its superior features and the ability to land at any functioning airport making space more accessible for all. That's all for today's episode. We really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please share your thoughts with us in the comment box below. We value your input, and it helps us create better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.